Hi guys and welcome to another video here on the Sean the Sheepman channel. So this video was filmed a week ago and it's just pretty much a typical Sunday here at our house. So if you enjoy this video guys hit that like button, leave us a comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let's get into the video guys. So the first thing that we're doing today is I harvested some potatoes from my garden the other day and I've got a bag of some small potatoes that are too small to eat and I'm gonna feed them to the sheep. So first off, when feeding potatoes, you can feed sheep raw potatoes in small amounts, very rarely. So unlike kale or turnips, which can be used as a fodder or basically to fatten lambs up or as a supplement feed during the winter when there's not much grass, uh, where you can feed them types of things fairly regularly. Uh, you should only feed sheep small amounts of raw potato. You should not use it as a fodder and it is very high in minerals and energy. So a little bit of potato can give sheep a good energy boost, but too much can result in them getting uh, sick. So let's give them a few potatoes and see how they react. They're definitely interested in the bag I've got. So guys, there's a few for the ewes and now I'm going to head across to the lambs. So the lambs were spained just a couple of days ago. So I've got a few left that I'll just give to the lambs. It's also worth saying, don't feed sheep any green potatoes. Green potatoes eaten raw can be poisonous and that's not just to sheep, that's to almost all animals, including humans. These lambs have never been fed from a bag before, so they're a bit more hesitant to come forward. Oh well, guys, something else that's new is we got this bird feeding station. So with the weather starting to change, we decided we're gonna feed the birds through the uh, winter. So. We've really only had it a couple of days and the birds are just getting used to it now. But we have had a few come to it, but we've put it out here in front of the window so that we can see it as well. else thing that you do today is I've cut the front grass and I've started strimming the banking but it's not finished because the strimmer ran out of battery so I'm gonna finish strimming the banking as well
I'm moving in the grass guys and oh, I don't know he's here somewhere so guys I'm gonna go find a safe place to put this little guy so he's out of the way of the strimmer Mr. Froggy. Guys, I've got one other thing I want to do today. So Echo has been shedding his summer coat and he's grown in his winter coat. And you can see all these tufts of hair. I can just, he sheds like a husky. You can just pluck it out. And that's how long his hair is, guys. So we're going to take him inside. We're going to give him a good brush. I'm probably going to be brushing him every few days for... Oh, the next week or two until all that hair's out but let's go and give echo a bit of a groom <laughs> 